Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever. Your victory starts here. Listen, on this Tuesday morning, we're bringing you your your morning tea. So grab your cups, pour some hot water, grab you two tea bags, a little honey for sweetness, and let's sip on this tea, y'all. So today's morning tea is topic is called Don't Throw Rock. Mm hmm that's what I said. The topic is don't throw rocks. Y'all, I had to bring the Ebonics on in this message so those English scholars who do not like when individuals use Ebonics, you might want to close your ears and just have somebody take notes because this is going to be we're going deep today. Thank you all for joining me. Like I said, today's topic is don't throw rocks. My, I have some a couple of questions before I get down into it. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jackie McKeever. What I I'm a life and business coach. On this platform, I talk about self development, finances, and business. What I actually do outside of this victory chat is I help busy business women get organized and compete. Anyway, let's get down to this topic. Don't throw rocks. Have you ever dated someone that you should not have dated? Have you ever been disrespected how many of you ever had your back up against the wall you were confused you didn't know what to do and uh, you was just frustrated so you just said the heck with it i'm just gonna make a choice and it turned out to be the wrong choice. Has that ever happened to you? I know that's happened to me. I cannot be the only one listening to this broadcast that have actually had that happen where I made a mistake. Choosing the wrong path only to end up doubling back to where I started. So the reason why this is called Don't Throw Rocks is because I want you to real. the reason why I asked you those questions and I called this topic Don't Throw Rocks, I want you to realize that we all are striving or practicing to be the greater, uh, greater, in my case, the greater Jackie. Or if your name is Henry, greater Henry. If your name is Jessica, Je the greater Jessica. It doesn't mean that we're trying to be perfect. We can't be perfect. We're imperfect people. And so many of you who watch the news or look at social media, y'all heard about K Kirk Franklin, right? So Kirk Franklin, he has a very difficult relationship. And I don't know the man now, so I'm not judging the man. We just talking about the situation because this is going to be a learning moment, okay? So... And he had a difficult, some type of difficult conversation with his son. And things escalated in a negative way, right? Where Kirk Franklin, the Christian, ended up cussing his son out. He lost control and he allowed his emotions to take over. And... 
I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I haven't even really watched the video. I'm just going by the headlines. So his son, his son is fabricastic, right? So his son was on a vendetta to ruin his father's image. Said, okay, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna post this on social media. I'm gonna hurt, I'm gonna hurt you for what you love. I'm 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 gonna tell tell y'all what I see in both situations. I'm gonna start with the son. I believe that the son feel deprived. Like truth be told, even though he's 33, a lot of times we don't stop needing our parents. We want our parents to do this, that, and that. And at the same time, sometimes we don't get out of that childhood mentality. Okay. And sometimes when, uh, when we have parents that are striving toward excellence, they have to spend a lot of time trying to get there. Like it don't happen overnight. And I don't care what somebody told you all. It takes a lot of hard work. So that meant that Kirk Franklin, y'all know he did a lot of touring. He had to be away from his family night after night. And because this child was probably not his wife. He he was living in another home. I, I I I believe probably in his mother's home. He probably felt like somewhat of a black sheep. Because he didn't live in the home with his father. Because he felt like his father may have been choosing his career or money or these things over him. So instead of learning how to uh, better communicate the way he's feeling and the things that he feels like he needs, they uh, both were in a shouting match. They fought with violent words instead of love, instead of peace. Now, I'm not judging them because to come to this understanding, this elevation in life to where you can effectively communicate your feelings the way you feel in your thoughts, it takes a lot of processing and learning not to give in to the each moment. And so when they had this argument, I want to believe mm -hmm. that he said, okay, I'm going to make you pay attention to me. I'm going to make you suffer. I'm going to let everybody know how you really are to me. I'm hurt and I want everybody to see that I'm hurt. I want you to see it since you won't listen to me saying the way I want to say it, that I'm hurt. Let me let your fans hear it. I'm going to hurt you where... You put your time and your energy, I'm going to hurt your money. I'm going to take away your fans. I'm going to let them know how you talk to me because I'm hurt. And I want you to see me. You don't see me. And in his father's defense, he may have been saying, I sacrifice. Do you know how many tears I've shed and how many accidents I had and how many late nights I had to feed you and clothe you and sacrifices that I made? Because I wanted you to have a father. I wanted you to have these things. So I got up night after night. I, I contacted who I had to contact. Some of the people I probably wouldn't even have talked to, but I needed to make relations with them so that I could open up the door so that you can have an easier walk and you won't have to be alone and live the life that I had to live. And then you... Talk to me this way. You don't see me.
Can't you see that I love you? I do these things because I love you. Maybe I'm spoiling you by not teaching you how to be independent, but I want you to know that you're not alone because when I grew up, I was adopted by a, another relative and I felt abandoned. I don't want you to feel abandoned. I don't want you to feel like nobody's in your corner, but I can't have you disrespecting me because I spent all these things this time and these tears and these long hours so that you don't have to suffer. I need you to see me. Then again, I don't know these people. I'm just using their story as an example. And at the same time, you have people in around the world who were familiar with uh, Kirk Franklin and they have this opinion of Christianity as though because you decide to be a Christian, you're supposed to instantly have it and you're supposed to know the answer because you follow Christ and you're supposed to be perfect. And there's no perfect person. Christianity is a practice. We practice to be greater because we believe that Christ is greater. Even Jesus said in John chapter six, verse eight, uh, uh, John, excuse me, John chapter eight, verses six through eight. And this is the amplified version. It goes, he said, it says, they said this to test him, hoping that they would have grounds for accusing him. But Jesus stooped down and began writing on the ground with his finger. However, when they were persistently persistent in questioning him, he straightened up and said, He who is without any sin among you, let him be first to throw the stone at her. And then he stood down again and started writing in the ground. So if you all are familiar with this story, the next chapter, the next verse, or the next few verses talk about the people leaving and them putting the stone down because they all have been guilty. They all have had situations where they may not have chosen the right thing to do. That's why today's message is don't throw rocks. Don't throw rocks, people, because we've all been there in one situation or another where we made the wrong decisions. Only thing is you're not Kirk Franklin, so it's not blasted on TMZ. Is not blasted on every news uh, or social media outlet. You're you. But it doesn't mean that you're exempt. It doesn't mean that you should be persecuted for every mistake that you have made. In this mistake, he used poor language. He ineffectively communicated how he was feeling. He in in a, both of them in, inappropriately communicated what the, what their needs were, and instead of throwing rocks, I want to invite you to do as he requested. Pray that they are able to get it together. Send positive vibes their way, hoping that they get it together. Because we want to see this father and son reunited in peace and love and happiness. We want them to have an understanding. We want them to grow stronger together.
I don't know their situation, but I do know we shouldn't throw rocks. Don't throw rocks, y'all. Don't throw rocks. Don't throw rocks. Lay your rock down. Don't throw rocks. Don't throw rocks. That's my message for today's morning tea where we took our cup, of, our cup, poured hot water in it, grabbed us two tea bags, a little honey for sweetness and <sighs> sipped on that tea. Listen, for more morning uh, for more morning tea and other broadcasts similar to this support support by going buying a t-shirt at bit.ly forward slash that's a word t that's a word t our inspiration motivational statements that you are making you are declaring your victory you are declaring words of power words of strength words of encouragement on your life that's a word that's what that's a word is all about so by one of go to bit.ly for slash that's a word t so if you have a business and you are looking for ways to promote your business you're in the right place. Make sure you contact us at contact at JackieMcKeever.com. That's contact at JackieMcKeever.com for more information on how you can promote your product or your services on our, on my platform. That's all for Victory Chat with Jackie McKeever, your victory starts here.